Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Hart 18 inch push mower that runs off of a Hart 68H 40 volt lithium ion battery. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you the good and the bad about this battery. The, bad, the good thing is the lawnmower lasts. The bad news is these batteries do not. This is the original battery that came with this lawnmower in the in the box. The first year I had this battery, it worked fine. So when the second summer came around, which was this year, I noticed that the battery started cutting on and off 10 to 15 times when I was mowing the yard and it started driving me insanely crazy. And I just wanted to throw the lawnmower across the yard is the way I felt, you know, but I didn't do that. So I disconnected the battery, put it back in the lawnmower. Might have thought it might have had dirt into the prongs on the lawnmower itself, or maybe some dirt got up in here, and it was running fine for a little bit longer without cutting off. But then it was doing it again. Only does it when I start pushing to mow. It would not do it when I'm sitting there holding the button down to power it on. So at first I thought maybe the security key, which is the red key for safety, that's in there. Sometimes when you mow and you hit hard things or you bounce, sometimes it pops out and cuts the lawnmower off, but that wasn't the case. So I charged the battery up, fully charged, and come to find out it was, it, was, it kept doing the same thing, but instead of, instead of doing it 10 to 15 times, it started doing it 20 times. But the battery, as far as the usage-wise, is how long it lasts, didn't change at all. <clears throat> so, I wanted to try to use it two weeks ago, and I, went, I had it on charge. Well, at least I thought it was charged. I stuck it in the lawnmower like I normally do. It lasts for 20 seconds. It shut off when it come back on. I'm like, what the hell? I charged this thing. So, I stuck my charger to it to see if it was charging and come to find out it was never charged. So I thought that maybe it was unplugged or something. And I'm like, nope, it was on because this light was this light always is on when it's not plugged up. But when you plug it up like this, the light should be turning green when it's or flashing when it's charging. It wasn't even doing that because up here it's not even showing this charging at all. When it starts charging, depending on how dead the battery is, if it's got two bars, it would be flashing two bars. If it has one bar that means you it means it's dead and I would keep trying to charge it and it wouldn't do anything. So this light was still staying steady red, wouldn't even attempt to blink red. It was always solid, never attempted to do green or anything. <clears throat> so at first I was thinking that maybe this charger itself was bad and I'm like, no, it can't be because if it was, then there'd be other ways you can work around this to get this battery to charge. So I hit this button right here, which is what they call the reset button. This also is the button indicator to show you how much juice is left your battery. So I hit it once, and that shows you it has one bar, which means it has a little bit of juice, but not enough to power the lawnmower. So we know that was working. So I stuck this charger on there again after I let it sit for a couple hours. I thought maybe it got too hot or something. Plugged it up like this. It was doing the same thing, which means wasn't showing that it was charging. <clears throat> so I got frustrated. I called Hart, which is the company that that Walmart deals with, that that because they sell their products. So I called them. Customer service was really nice about the situation. I told them I was like, "Hey, this this battery doesn't charge anymore." I told them that I attempted to try to plug it in different outlets in the house, including the kitchen. The garage, I tried plugging it in the search protector and without the search protector, didn't make a difference. I told her that I did the um I did the uh reset trick with this button. Didn't seem to work either. And I tried told her I tried to do it again overnight in the last few days, still didn't do nothing. They told me it's called a dead battery, which means the cells could have been bad on it or something could have killed it. Um, so they were sending me a new battery. It was shipped out today. 
it takes like 24 hours for them to send you a tracking number but they send you the order number but I asked them I was like hey do I need to turn this old battery into it they're like no because we can't refurbish those out because once they die they're dead there's nothing they can do with them because they have a chip up here on the top and the batteries are on the bottom and that plus it has backup batteries so this thing can't completely die so I asked them I was like you don't need proof of receipt or anything she said no so luckily I had the lawnmower in the battery stood in the battery because they need the model number and the part number for the battery and for the lawnmower be sure you get the correct one and just if you're curious where the part number and serial number is this is your part number they're going to ask you for the part number for the battery and they're going to ask you for the serial number the serial number is the one in the white label with the black numbers next to the qr code and the same would be for your lawnmower you have to give them this and your lawnmower for them to give you the right battery <clears throat> and as you can tell the model number is almost similar to the one on the lawnmower especially these numbers and as you can tell, the, the this battery still looks like it's in great shape. I mean, it's always been in the garage. It's never been dropped, never got wet or anything. The clips work and everything. The pins ain't damaged. Can't really see it, but you can. There's no cracks or anything. And this, all these marks are just normal wear and tear. Nothing to be, to be uh, concerned about. But they did tell me that there was tips about these batteries, that these batteries are heat sensitive and that they don't need to be in very hot places. My garage is very hot because it's not insulated, so the, I don't know if the heat could have killed it for being in the garage over time. But she also said that to be sure that you don't overcharge it. I've had it before where it has been overcharged overnight when it was sent for one or two days. I mean, that could have been my fault, or it may have not been, because it, 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 I've been doing it for a while. But these batteries, they take four hours to charge but only take it it only can be used 30 to 40 minutes of use depending on how long your grass is and how low you got your blade height but they did tell me that these are low voltage chargers that come with them so these get, give it a slow charge so it takes four hours they recommended me that i could buy a fast charger which is like 60 70 bucks and they're compatible to work with all the heart batteries as long as it's compatible with the voltage then it should be fine so I don't know how good those are or how quick they charge. So if you're going to comment and ask me about that, I'm just going to tell you I don't know. So I looked at this, thought this was damaged, and it's not. It's in perfectly good shape. Like I said, it sits right here when the battery's done charging. I put it up here on the top of my other stuff up there, the rest of the batteries. So when I get the new battery in, I'll keep it in a cooler place in the house and see if that helps due to heat um but i'd have to charge it like when i'm off of work or something because in like during the day because if i forget if i go to bed and forget that stone charger and it's done charging after four hours it could be overcharging it <clears throat> but just a reminder it's a 40 volt 6 ah battery these batteries are like two to three hundred dollars at walmart and, and they cost more on Amazon and eBay than they do at Walmart. Walmart usually has them on sale for $129 to $160. If you get them on sale for around that price, $120, $160, I recommend picking one up. Um, sometimes people on eBay sell them for $75. It just depends. But since the batteries have a three-year warranty, the Walmart has a the uh, Heart Walmart has a five. I would get a replacement and save you $200, $300. Bucks. But they recommend me to take this to Home Depot or Lowe's and recycle it because that's just the thing they require you to do. It doesn't mean you have to. If you want to keep the battery, you can, but you ain't going to have no use for it. It's junk. And then you do what you want. Um, but this is the lawnmower over here. It's the 18 inch. As you can tell, this is broke. This can be even fixed. If I want to fix it myself, but since it's missing the piece, it just felt like it fell off on its own. <clears throat> this is where the battery goes. Which is right here. You can tell the pins are in perfectly great shape. This dirt, this is dirt and debris and all wear and tear over the year. And this is your security key. This does pop out easily. If you hit bumps or hit sticks or anything that's really hard, it pops it, knocks it off. Or, or a lot of bumpy riding. 
this will pop out and cause your battery to disengage, which means shuts the lawnmower off. So don't think it's always your battery. I, I used to think it was, but it's always this. The battery should not never move when it's connected and never has. The only time it will is unless your battery is not pushed in all the way. It'll make a clicking sound when you push it in. And this is just a protector to protect the battery from getting dirt and debris and getting wet if you're mowing the grass and when it's wet. And if you're also concerned, that's the model number and the part number for the lawnmower. There's your model number, there's your seal number. That would have to be given the heart too. But please be sure if you do mow your grass when it's wet, it will kill your battery. The higher your grass is, the more it strains the battery, and the battery usually lasts about 25, 30 minutes, just depending. These are not recommended for, for big yards, they're recommended for really small yards. If you have a really small yard, this is a great lawnmower for you. If you have a big yard, like it's like an acre and a half, it's gonna take you three days to cut because it, my yard, you can only cut the front yard and partial of the backyard and it dies. Then you have to wait for four hours to charge it. Then I would have to do it again the next day or wait until later on that day to do it again if it's not raining or not too dark. Just depending when you start. Like I start with my yard like at nine, ten o'clock in the morning when it's not hot. Then I'll charge and be ready by two, three o'clock. I'll do it again. If not, I do it the next day, which is kind of embarrassing because I see my neighbor's stuff. I've got these gas powered lawnmowers, and I'm like, damn. But I am buying a gas powered lawnmower in the in the next couple of weeks, just in case if the new battery doesn't last again. And if it doesn't last only like a year, year and a half, like this one, then I know the batteries are just junk. I just don't like how they lie to you about how these batteries are 40 volt when they're actually got more voltage in them. Because I um. I opened it up after I got through after I was after I called them to see it does have a big chip on the front and batteries are not Samson batteries they're just cheap generic batteries I mean they don't even have a good brand so I think the batteries inside are just junk or the fuse could have blew it could be anything I hope this video helps about the uh, charging issue with these heart batteries for these lawnmowers but there is a lot of complaints on walmart.com and stuff about people complaining about the battery life but nobody ever complaining about the batteries dying so if you're a victim of a person who owns one of these batteries and these lawnmowers and yours has died you can call heart and talk to them about the warranty to get a replacement thanks for watching